changes our focus. Fear weakens our determination and will power. Fear is a more deceptive enemy than Satan himself. Fear not those who are with us, fighting for us, protecting us, are more than those who are against us to destroy us. The angels unspeakably more numerous. God infinitely more powerful. When we cannot see beyond our immediate situation, we begin to panic. When we are magnifying the causes of our fear, we ought to possess ourselves with clear and great and high thoughts of God and invisible words. If God be for us, we know what follows. Every mountain for our sin shall be leveled. The hill will come plain. When we walk through fire, we will not be burnt. If God be for me, every mountain shall be leveled. The hill will become plain. If I pass through fire, Will not be burned. Don't because of your trouble. Change your direction. God is still saying something. Don't because of your trouble. Change your direction. Don't because of your trouble. Change your conviction. God is still saying something. In every situation, God has something to say. Tell your neighbor, God is to say something. I would be because of my situation. I would not be because of my situation. Change my direction. Change my confession. God is to say something. Not because of you. Change my position. Change my direction. God is this saying something through you. It may be to stop me a while. What can God say through your situation? It may be to stop you a while in order to preserve you. It may be to stop you a while in order to check you because you are going too far. It may be to stop you a while in order to prepare you for the challenges ahead. It may be, it may be to stop you a while in order to keep you for a new level. It may be to stop you a while in order to reform you. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, I'm working with the Lord. I'm not used to failure. I'm not used to doubt. I'm working with the Lord. Working with the Lord. Therefore, I'm 
not working by sight. I'm working with the Lord. What is seen cannot dictate my direction. I'm working with the Lord. What is seen cannot change my confession. I'm working with the Lord. Get ready to live above your fear as you listen to the message by TB Joshua titled, Fear Not. Emmanuel, I believe you are going to have a wonderful day with Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The title of our message, Fear Not. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Fear not. Fear changes our focus. Fear weakens our determination and will power. Fear is a more deceptive enemy than Satan himself. Tell your neighbor, fear not. Fear. Hallelujah. The blind man cried out when the opposition told him to hold his peace. He fear not. They shouted at him, hold your peace. He refused to fear the opposition. Millions have submitted to their fear. We shall take our reading from the book of 2 Kings, chapter 6. I will read verse 1 and then verse 16. The company of the prophets said to Elisha, Look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. Let us go to the Jordan, where each of us can get a pole. And let us build a place there for us to live. Let me take it to verse 16. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed, O oh Lord, open his eyes so he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire of all around Elisha. Let someone say fear not. Fear not. I can hear you. Fear not. Amen. Fear not. By word, what Elisha said to his servant is spoken to all faithful Christians, all faithful servants of God, all born again. When without are fighting, within are fears. The name of Jesus, 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 the name of Jesus. Within fear. Fear not those who are with us, fighting for us, protecting us, are more than those who are against us to destroy us. The angels unspeakably more numerous God infinitely more powerful when we cannot see beyond our immediate situation we begin to panic 
if God be for us, we know what follows. Every mountain for our sin shall be leveled. The hill will become plain. When we walk through fire, we will not be burnt. If God be for me, every mountain shall be leveled. The hill will become plain. If I pass through fire, I will not be burnt. Don't because of your trouble. Change your direction. Don't because of your trouble. Change your confession. God is still saying something. What can God say through your situation? It may be to stop you a while in order to preserve you it may be to stop you a while in order to check you because you are going too far it may be to stop you a while in order to prepare you for the challenges ahead it may be it may be to stop you a while in order to keep you for a new level it may be to stop you a while in order to reform you tell your neighbor i'm working with the law i'm not used to failure i'm not used to doubt i'm working with the law When we are magnifying the causes of our fear, we ought to possess ourselves with clear and great and high thoughts of God and invisible words. Immortal God. Immortal God. Invisible Lord, immortal God, how great Thou art, immortal God, immortal Thank you, thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Open with me the book of Romans, 8, verse 31. What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, you know what follows. Tell your neighbor, if God is for me, I know what follows. Let's go to the book of Isaiah 43 from verse 1. But now, this is what the Lord says. 
He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. Verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Amen. Tell your neighbor, if God is for me, God. I know what follows. I know. If I pass through the waters, I he will be with me. When God with us, who can be against us? Nobody, you with God, I'll make your ready. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. If God be for us, we know what follows. Every mountain for our sake shall be leveled. The hill will become Play. When we walk through fire, we will not be burnt. Rise up, rise up, and begin to confess this right now. If God be for me, every mountain shall be leveled. 
the hill will become plain. If I pass through fire, I will not be burned. Begin to confess this right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You may be seated. Second Kings chapter 6 verse 16. Don't be afraid for a master to say, don't be afraid. A master telling his servant, don't be afraid. That shows he's sure of his security. He's sure of assurance. He's sure of inner joy. He's sure of is of arts elisha saw himself safe and wished that his servant might see what he saw oh it's a pity look at this boy oh you need to see what i'm looking at he prayed for him lord open his eyes that he may see when the eyes of our body are open we see danger we see what our situation has to say one thing for the eyes of the body to open and for the eyes of faith to open is two things there look at that hey, this is chariot chariot <sighs> the eyes of his body were open and he saw danger. Elijah prayed, and the Lord opened his eyes of faith that he may see the protection they are under. Let someone say, The protection we are under. <laughs> you must know that we are under his eyes. of your trouble change your direction don't because of your trouble change your conviction God is this saying something what can God say through your situation it may be to stop you a while in order to preserve you it may be to stop you a while in order to check you because you are going too far it may be to stop you a while in order to prepare you for the challenges ahead it may be, it may be to stop you a while in order to keep you for a new level it may be to stop you a while in order to reform you. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, I'm working with the law. I'm not used to failure. I'm not used to doubt. I'm working with the law. In that Exodus 14, you take your reading from verse 14, it says, God will fight for you. In other words, when you see the Lord fight for you, you will regret your complaint. When you see the Lord fighting you, you will hold your peace you will quiet down best of a prayer ask God to open the eyes of your faith that you may see 
the protection we are under. Prayer. Of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see. Jesus Christ, we shall pray as Elisha did, so that the eyes of our faith will open, so that we fear no more, worry no more, doubt no more. Once you know God's will, God's opinion concerning your situation, many of your situations here today are meant to preserve you. It may look like it trouble is not like others my trouble is meant to get me for a new level my trouble is meant to preserve me for redemption my trouble is meant to prepare me for the challenges ahead my trouble is meant to reform me for a better position. My trouble, my trouble is meant to keep me. And don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Trouble days don't last away. For there's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just leave those hands and say, Oh, I know that I can make it. I know.
Jesus Christ name we pray Amen. don't because of your trouble change your direction God is still saying something don't because of your trouble change your direction don't because of your trouble change your confession God is still saying something in every situation God has something to say tell your neighbor God is still saying something I will not because of my situation I will not because of my situation change my direction change my confession God is still saying something not because of you change my position change my direction God is still saying something true it may be to stop me a while what can God say through your situation it may be to stop you a while in order to preserve you. It may be to stop you a while in order to check you because you are going too far. It may be to stop you a while in order to prepare you for the challenges ahead. It may be, it may be to stop you a while in order to keep you for a new level. It, it may be to stop you a while in order to reform you. Hey, your neighbor, I'm working with the law. I'm not used to failure. I'm not used to doubt. I'm working with the law. <laughs> Elijah was telling his servant that you are working with the Lord. We that work with the law, we are not used to doubt. We are not used to fear. We are not working with the law therefore I'm not working by sign I'm working with the law what is seen cannot dictate my direction I'm working with the law what is seen cannot change my confession I'm working with the law when the servant when the eyes of his body were opened he saw danger but when the eyes of his feet opened he saw Elijah said to his servant, Lord, open his eyes of faith. The protection we are. <laughs> right now, open your lips and begin to ask God to open your eyes of faith. Open my eyes of faith prayer so that I will see the protection I'm under prayer
In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I want you to continue to meditate in this message. That one thing for the eyes of the body to open, another thing for the eyes of faith to open. When the eyes of the body open, one sees what your situation has to say. But when the eyes of your faith open, you will see the protection you are under. Ask the Lord to open the eyes of your faith so that you will know the protection you are under. Ask him to open the eyes of your faith so that you will know is we consigning your business, consigning your marital life. Open the eyes of my faith so that I will know your we consigning my business, consigning my spiritual life. Consigning my marital life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 